Hello, friends and neighbors. Welcome to another production of the program. Here we are on TV. Once again, once a day, every day, turn on the machines and live forever. Here we go. I'm alive and I made it all the way back around here to today. Who would have thought that I would have made it this long? It's uh, no day. How many times must a cannonball cry before you could call him a cannonball? Uh, <clears throat> who would have thought? Who would have thought? Maybe James and Heather. I'm gonna show up here in a bit after I get go go going, a little gone gone. Um, it's loading there's something, so I'm starting a minute, about a minute early, a few minutes early, so they're gonna be here eventually. Uh, it's Monday. And look, I'm back on the couch. Hey, well, I feel like I'm gaining weight. You think I'm gaining weight, viewers? Am I, am I, am I getting big? Oh, somebody's, somebody's here already. On time, James or Heather? James, on time. Hi. Hi. What's up? I just uh, just started it up. I was gonna go sit on the couch. I don't know if you ever watch. You ever watch the show? Probably. On YouTube when it was live. When it's live, yeah. You know, in the in the beginning of the thing, I go and sit on the couch sometimes. Uh -huh. Yeah. And uh, I was doing that. But I guess I don't. I know I don't have too much on Mondays because you're doing it. You're gonna be here. You're in. The, are you in the living room? Um, I'm at my friend's house. In the living room, yeah. No, his name is Max. Where's Max? He doesn't want to be on TV. Are you <laughs> watching you, watching you from across the room. He can hear. He, he can TV? hear. Yeah. Hi, Max. He says hello. Oh, I heard him. He's doing laundry. Oh yeah. That's good. You can say hi to the puppies. Hi. Pup, pup. Oh. Yes. Oh, that one got his tongue out. Yeah, her tongue's out. Hey. Hey, baby. Pup, pup. Oh. 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 And if she's so cute, and then there's a poor dog. Is that dog missing teeth? Tongue in mouth? Back in your mouth? Uh, oh. I don't think so. She looks like the tongue is too long, I think. Mm. Yeah, puppies. What? In Tacoma? You're in Tacoma? No, I'm in Edgewood. Edgewood? Edgewood. It's right next to Milton. <laughs> Past Tacoma? Like, you have to get to, to, to Edgewood or through Milton to go to Edgewood? No, it's like touches Puyallup, Milton, uh, whatever else the other way. I don't know. There's all these places. I know. I should go yeah. travel in. in, in yeah, there's places outside Olympia, can you? To you, like, huh? There's places farther than Lacey. Yeah, Lacey, like Ed, <laughs> like Edmund. Like what? Ed Edward. Edward, yeah. Wherever you are, Edward. Edward. I'm going on vacation to Edgewood. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I could be going to like cause, yeah, some people go to like uh, I don't know to Hawaii or something. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to Milton. How many people who on vacation as would probably family here? It's not exactly the vacation destination of America. Yeah, what do they have there? A uh, windmill. <laughs> Bunch of rich people. There's rich people there? And, um, what? What? Where? Why are there rich people there? Where are they going? I don't know. There just seems to be a bunch of rich people here. Are we going to Seattle? I mean, I don't know where they're going. They're mostly older, I think. Old rich people, they got a Walmart? Is there a Walmart in Ed? No. Wow. The closest Walmart I think is in Puyallup. It must be if there's one in Puyallup, I don't even know. Or Auburn, is there one in Auburn? I don't know. Oh, Federal Way, that's where it is. Yeah. Federal Way's pretty far from there. I don't know. I don't know where the closest one is. I'm not, I'm not Federal Federal Way's like almost 20 minutes outside of Tacoma. Yeah, but it's closer to Milton and Edgewood. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, I never even heard of Edgewood. Yeah. <laughs> well, now you have. Have you been there before? I've driven through. Yeah, because they used to have a, a really a really good nursery. I don't know if it's still here, like a flower nursery, you know, for flowers and plants. Edgewood Flower Farm, and we used to come, I used to come here a lot with my grandma, actually, to the Edgewood Flower Farm. Good flower? It was like a really big, nice nursery. How about the windmill? I just, I only saw the windmill for the first time since I've lived in Milton. Which it used to be in Milton. And they moved it down the street. I they guess. Moved, I don't know. The Milton? They moved the windmill or they moved the city limits? They moved the windmill. Why? How do you move a windmill? It's old. I don't know. They've done crazier things before. Hmm. But yeah, so they moved it down the street and now the windmill's in Edgewood. But it used to all be Milton. And now, like, Edgewood is a newer city. But Milton is really tiny. And Edgewood is, like, a bigger and whatever. So, they, they, so it's just for, it's not milling anything anymore, probably. No. Hell no. Now it's just, you just go look at it. Yep. It's just around the side of the road. That's the, uh, the only landmark, basically. It's just spinning around doing nothing. I don't even know if it spins. <laughs> it doesn't spin? It might just be a wooden tower. Yeah, with, with a fan on it? With a not moving I fan? Remember. I don't even remember if there's a fan on top of it or not. I never paid that much attention. Hi! 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 Heather, you pierced your nose? Oh, no, it's fake. Oh. <laughs> Ouch. I was just sleeping. Oh, have you ever been to Edgewood? Edgewood? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Do <laughs> you see the windmill? I, I have seen the windmill. <laughs> Does it spin? I didn't see it spin, but I know it's been moved. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it's not spinning. This seems like... Seems like it'd be almost harder to make it not spin than to spin, like... Unless it's just, like, rusted or something. Yeah. I have no idea. I don't know. Maybe it does spin. I have no idea. It's not even milling anything. Maybe spinning is a danger, though. Why? Because you, be... you get hit by it. <laughs> if it fell off. <laughs> or, but, or if it fell off, or, I mean, how low does a wimbo go? No, it's not like that. It's just a little thing on the top. Hmm. Yeah, it's not like a regular windmill. Not like, um... Not like what you're picturing, no. Yeah. <laughs> not Don Quixote? No. You know what I'm talking about? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, Heather? I know that. Doing Quixote? Yeah. I don't know what it is exactly, though. Uh, I, I haven't had the pleasure, I guess. Poncho and Don Quixote, he rides a donkey because he's uh, dumb. He thinks he's a horse. He fights the windmill. Oh, yeah. 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 I'll be back. Can you turn that in? Max, are you talking about young guns? What? Are you talking about young guns? Young guns? That's what Patrick asked. Is it a rap group? A movie. Movie. Is Don Quixote in it? Do people do peyote? Yeah. Yeah. Don Quixote is like a classic tale from like the 1600s or something, and there's been a lot of movies and adaptations and stuff. It's kind of like Cinderella or something, you know? So, I don't think we're thinking of the same thing, man. He fights. He, he fights. Young Gun sounds like a, like a mumble rap group. Like a mumble rap group. Mumble rap, like ha ba da da 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 Young Guns, you know? <laughs> um, My phone is gonna die, your, but I'm gonna be here. Your phone? Until it dies. Oh, okay. Then you're done? Yeah, oh well, I'm in a cabin and I don't have electricity. What? Yeah. No electricity? We're in the, like in the woods or something? Yeah, no, I am. No electricity. Let me flip my bitch. Let me flip my bitch around. 
I see some uh, uh, the sunlight, huh? Whoa, what cabin? That's crazy. What is that thing? A lantern? Yeah, that's a lantern. Propane what? lantern. Where are you? The floor is dirt. The floor is dirt? Where do you sleep? Uh, well, right now I'm like laying on this pad, but we sleep up there is our bed. And I just got engaged. Oh, you fucking what? Bitch. oh shit. Hey. Oh, what kind of rock is that? The rocky kind. Wow. Patrick there, can you hear me? Yo, dog. Patrick, congratulations. Oh. Thanks, dude. Oh, I'm excited. Can I be a bridesmaid? <laughs> Hell yeah, you can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Me and James, me and James, James, made too. <laughs> James is the maid of honor. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Naturally. <laughs> Naturally. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's good. I'm. That's exciting. Yeah. I know. That's crazy. Well, that's good. Jealous. <laughs> wow. Did he? Uh, did he? Do the knees and stuff. Get on the knee and propose. He sang the whole song. I was very surprised. There's a whole song. Yeah, yeah he sang like, song? the whole song, and I was like, I was like, oh, he's gonna sing me this song. Okay. I'm gonna record him. Oh, okay. What's the song? It worked out. It was a song he's made up. <gasps> oh, you wrote the song? Yeah. Oh, song, bro. Ah! <laughs> I'm so jealous. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Made especially for the occasion. Um, just now, like at the cabin. Uh, well, a couple I, hours ago by the beach. I, wow. Fuck, I, I was, I was like at one, one o'clock or something like that. Oh, yeah, I guess I was at one. Yeah. Wow. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah. Um, what now? You gotta get a ring to give to Patrick. She's wearing one right now. No, no wait, what, about what about Patrick though? You, no, Heather, oh, Heather has to get a ring now, right? Is that how it works? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you already well, bought a I, ring for yourself? I think, I think traditionally, the dude doesn't have to wear any engagement thing, but hmm. she can just you'd get the wedding band and I wear it my right hand. Oh, and then you move it to your left hand? The left hand is marriage. Right hand's uh, engagement. Wow. Oh. Well, that's good. You're going you're gonna to have a wedding and like when, when everything gets back to no, going? Sometimes. Right. You'd have a wedding at the funeral home. <laughs> we can. <laughs> oh, God. Did you do that? Did they ever do that? Yeah. Um, they haven't had a wedding there before, but we could if we wanted. Do they ever have any other kind of parties there? Do <laughs> <laughs> they ever have any other kind of parties there? Mm. Like graduation parties or, you know, bar mitzvahs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bar mitzvahs at the funeral home. No, uh, not yet. We're redoing our reception area, though, so it could be nice. Be wedding worthy. Wow. Um, well, that's good. What are, you, what are you eating out in the cabin? You got a fire? Um, well... There's a little fire going right now out there. Well, in here. If we want it, there's not a fire out there, right? That's just the reflection. Mm -hmm. There's a fire pit out there, but we ain't got one going. You gonna eat uh, cheesy, uh, cheese stuffed hot dogs? Oh my god, yes. I've had so much gas. I've been eating so many different cheese things. <laughs> yeah, after you got engaged? Very romantic, yeah. He proposed. <laughs> Uh, but no, 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 those cheese stuffed hot dogs, that's what you eat when you go camping, right? Hell yeah, we had cheese stuffed hot dogs last night. <laughs> are, they, are they fancy or are they really not fancy? <clears throat> They're fancier than like your regular old hot dogs. It's like hot dog stuffed with cheese could either be like very fancy or like really, really not fancy, you know? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, it's like, I could see it going either way. It's always good. 
You know, James, you know what I'm saying? What? Hot dog, like cheese stuffed hot dogs. You could have them, I could see them being like very fancy and they're like gray or whatever. Or they're oh, yeah, the most, away. or they're the cheapest things on the planet and they're oh. really like, like uh, trashy, I guess, you know? No, look at how beautiful this is. Wait, how do I do this? Look at that sunset. Yes. Oh, I'm not seeing it. Why is it not showing it? I don't know. I don't even see you at all. What's going on? I don't know. I was wondering that too. Oh, you're over there. Oh. What the heck? That shit. Why are you over so there? What's going on? Out there. What the heck is this? This is not right. What is not right? I have a weird view. How do I get out of this view? Why is this? Why is it like this? How do I fix it? Jamie, what did you do? Who are you asking? Because none of us know. Um, I don't know. What? <laughs> way out. Who are you asking? None of oh, us like know. <laughs> there. Okay. There. Now I can see. Now when you talk, James, then it shows you. Can I bring my shoes? Oh, Hi. we didn't bring the boots. All right. There. Oh, what a nice set. My toes are cold. I have my socks in there. You taking a nap? Um, I was taking a nap. Patrick just woke me up a little bit ago, like right before I got on here. Now he's telling me you were on here. Hmm. I'm for the program. Yeah. Well, yeah, pretty much. But my sister had just called, and then she was—he was like, "Oh shit." He's not program. She's got to get up. That's what you want. That's what you want in the husband uh, to remember to remind you to get on the TV. He did. That's good. That's nice. You gotta get up. You gotta get up. You gotta get up. This oh. time for the program. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, that's nice, I'm uh, I'm excited. I'm gonna uh I've been I've been going and doing oh, things, so I'm I I think I can I'm gonna even just the thought of going to a wedding is uh, like uh it's a little bit uh it's a little bit uh even just the thought of going to a wedding is like a real possibility now, you know. A real possibility. I feel like the world's opening back up. I'm doing things again. Mm -hmm. I like don't. I don't care anymore. I guess. We're getting there. Yeah. James, what are you doing? Where are you going? It I'm going to the, the window. Seventh. James, you get your vaccine today? Isn't it the seventh? Is that no, right? I'm, I'm wrong. It's on the eighth. You going next Sunday? No, it's on the eighth. Whatever day is the eighth tomorrow. Yeah. That's tomorrow. I'm right down the street. Yeah, we're just gonna go to Safeway or something? Yeah. Where? Okay, do you see the windmill? What? Do you see the windmill? That, Can you see it yet? I Ooh, look at that sunset. Oh, so pretty. What? That, 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 <laughs> that like, uh, looks like, an, looks like a cell phone tower to me. Is that what I'm looking at? Uh, uh, it's the smallest of all of the things. It's, it's just about only as tall as the street lights. That's a windmill? <laughs> it's got a windmill thingy on top. Yeah, hold on, I'm getting closer. It's like a windmill, like at a farm. Yeah, like a windmill at a farm. This is a farming area. Yeah, that's like such a. Oh, that's the. Uh, yeah, I guess. It's old. Why is that even? That's like not even something that anybody should know about. What do you mean? Like, why is that even a big deal at all? Because it's like the only remnant from the original Milton or something. I don't know. It was. Like, I don't fucking know. Mill, because it was I'm, a mill. There's a plaque over here, Milton? but I'm not gonna read it. But it's like why. What? I don't even know why they would, um... Make it such a big deal? Yeah, like... Maybe it's old as fuck. Maybe the founder built it. I don't know. Like, Heather, Heather knew about it. Yeah, because it's, because it's like the only... It's even on their time. Huh. <laughs> well... There you go. I'm that's the windmill. Like the windmill is close to you. You could just walk there and, like... I just see it yeah, right outside the window, basically. Wow. I know. Those are that close. Good I, I drew wanna, very own window. Are I you kinda, jealous, Kenny? I kind of want to um, go to one of these weird towns. Like, yeah, do like, it. Like, <laughs> live, like live in them. You can, you can come do the show from Al's house one day, I bet. He'd let you do that. Oh. Go, go, to Al, go hang out at Al's? You do real Milton Monday. Yeah. Ooh, Milton Monday. Yeah, well, very soon. I'm after... I mean, I don't even know. Maybe it doesn't matter. Yeah, I guess you should get vaccinated too. Yeah, well, you will be in two weeks. The barn over here is cooler than the windmill, honestly. The barn, yeah. 
I like the barn better. <laughs> Edward's barn famous is barn. Oh, Edward's famous barn. Is that a creek? No, there's no creek right here. There's the, uh... I can't walk oh, 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 it looked like you fell down uh, almost. <laughs> he was running. Okay, here's the plaque. The Edgewood Nyholm Windmill was built in 1902 by Peter Nyholm and provided water to his and neighboring homes located on Mer at Meridian Avenue and Javita Boulevard. So that's where my store was. That's right in the corner where my Starbucks was. That's uh -huh. where the windmill used to be. Oh. That's where the windmill was. On August 24th, 1980, members of the Edgewood Volunteer Fire Department <sighs> basically moved it all the way over here. For no reason, doesn't say why. <laughs> doesn't say why they moved right, it. Let's see the world that's to the top of it. <laughs> that's it. That's the mill. The windmill is so small. That's like far four feet wide. It just is to pull water up from a well. Huh. It doesn't have to be big. It's windy. We're up a hill. We're up on the hill, so it's windy here. My building has a, a historical plaque. What? The building I'm in is a historical building. Yeah, it's an historical building. Oh, yeah, the one you're in? Yeah. This one's from the 1800s. It's got a plaque. <sighs> yeah. Um, well, wait, so that's your session for today. That's it. That's, uh, that's it? That's Edgewood. That's it. This is Edgewood. That's about it. Yep, that's all there is to it. Yeah, I should go to Edgewood. I'm going to go to Edgewood, Milton. I don't even know if I've... Really, I've even not even seen, like, Lakewood outside of, like, South Lakewood. <laughs> Look at that stuff. How long are you kidding? Uh, a couple more days. You got it without power? Yeah. Wow, are you gonna charge your phone somehow, or are you just gonna? Yeah, in the car. Oh, and then um, okay. do you have to? Do you, are you renting the cabin, or is it just like something you go and? Yeah, it's an Airbnb. Oh, with dirt and no electricity. That's a good money maker for them. Must be. Mm-hmm. Um. Well, maybe I should set up the message of the picture. Look, 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 the windmill. Oh, don't know. Don't, don't litter, huh? Oh, Mark, guitar player. Oh, look, oh. It's a very clean community. It is very clean. Mark's trying to quit cigarettes. Did you ever smoke cigarettes, Heather? Uh -uh. No. Oh, that's good. Mark's trying to quit. Oh, well, that's good. Mark's trying to quit. Yeah. I hear it sucks. Hello, hello. Future. Gives, yeah, she gives how much time you got? I'm queuing up the message of the future. So you can get on there. What? Yeah. And then we can see that ring. What, what, what kind of rock is it? Is it diamond? Oh, rocky part. Is it diamond? Yeah. What? Oh. Unless it's, yeah. Wow. Ah, my fat finger. Wow, real diamond. Do you have, do you have any diamonds, James? I know you spent a bunch of money on crazy things. <laughs> I used to have a dime. I used to have di black diamond earrings. But I don't have them anymore. Somebody Did actually you? took them off of my ear when I was sleeping. Somebody Are you stole? serious? Somebody stole yeah, when I was living my, Yeah, when I lived at my dad's house. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I know. You didn't wake up? No, apparently not. For you, uh, it was a crazy time. Yes, it was. So, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Stole right out of but, your ears, huh? That seems like it'd be difficult. Not when you sleep like a log. Yeah. Wow. Uh oh. This tape is not going. Is not taken. I'm trying to fix this tape. Oh. Good. How are you doing? Take. Why is it not taken? Oh, there it goes. It did it. All right. Hey, future! It's us, the past. Hi, future. Hi. Heather got engaged. Let's see. I got engaged, bitches. Wow. Man. And James I'm so jelly right now. James is looking at some old, uh, old windmill. 
I feel like a sour old bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's uh, yeah. Monday. Congratulations. Bye, future. Bye. Bye. Nice. Nice. Um, um. Yeah. Now you gotta. Well, you like you you just do that, and then you say like eventually, and then you start setting the dates and stuff after you get back from from the time. You just like, right? I'm gonna set in the dates when I come back. Cause... Yeah, you start setting the dates like like later on. You know, there's no no timeline with that. You know, like you're like, oh, right? When are you? I guess it was just an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no moving on that yet. You ever uh, you you think about you think about weddings? Yeah. How sure, about you, James? Sure. You think about weddings? You are you planning on marry on marriage? Me? Yeah. No. You don't plan on getting married? I think it's unnatural. <laughs> unnatural? Uh-huh. What, uh, marriage in general or gay marriage? In general. In the game in general. <laughs> huh? Only the traits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> James doesn't believe in gay marriage. <laughs> I don't believe in any. Personally. Um, Hi, puppies. <laughs> I thought you were into that, James. Aren't you trying to get looks with your glitter shirts and stuff? What? Glitter shirts. What? Glitter shirts. Glitter. Glitter shirts. Glitter shirts. James, oh, wait, glitter what shirt. I was today? On um, was that Sunday or no? Today's that was yesterday. It was yesterday. It was yesterday. Or the day before, I, I think I weren't sure. Is there I think it was Saturday that I talked to you, though. <laughs> What's your shirt? James? Gay? Gay. And trashy. What? And trashy. In I love that. In trashy? Gay and trashy. Oh, gay and trashy. Okay, that's good. Yep, that's me. Like, uh, hot dogs with cheese in them? In your oh, butt, yeah, though. hot dogs with cheese in them. In your butt. Not right, in my butt, though. Gay. Well, you're not gay. I'm gay. You're not gay. So. Uh, That's it. <laughs> you don't have to. Are message. people eating the cheese dogs that go in your butt? What? Do people eat the cheese dogs that go in your butt? I don't. Yeah. No. I don't, I don't... People sell lollipops that have been inside their asshole. I don't Ew. think that's um. Healthy. It's on that underwear website. That's unhealthy. What is? Hey. Um, Eating out of an asshole? Mixing, <laughs> mixing. You know, eat, don't eat stuff out of your butt. That's you can get E. coli. Well, what about eating butt? E. coli. Hey, Kenny. Yeah. This um, is Mark, Hansen, please use a dental thing when you eat butt. Call. Talk to you later. Bye. Use yeah. Use that thing. Protection. <laughs> That's Mark. Let's call Mark. I'm gonna call Mark back. Mark, the guitar player. He's in. Oh yeah, he's he was. Oh, ba -ba. Um, Mark, the guitar player was uh, kind of getting. He was like calling. He's like your good friend. Remember that, Heather? You fall off right there. Huh? Oh yeah. Mark, Mark was like you're a good friend. I want you to know. So I was kind of concerned the other day. I oh. Guess, that was when, when we were talking to him with James. I haven't talked to him since Hello. Then. Hello, Mark. Hey, how's it going? Pretty good, how are you? Pretty good. That's good. You sound hoarse. Huh? You sound a little hoarse. Hey, I'm going to let you guys go. Bye. I laid you. down for Hi, a minute. James. Bye. What? Oh, I lied down for a minute. I just woke up. Oh, yeah? Dude, same. Uh, playing guitar and trying to learn some new chords and stuff. How many chords are there? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I'm just trying to, try to learn some new songs, you know. Yeah, we're talking to Heather. Heather's in the dirt floor cabin. Mm. You, ever, <laughs> you ever been camping? <laughs> yeah, that was, those are the good old days. <laughs> mm. You sound hoarse, Yeah, 
me and my brother used to go camping. Where where are you, Heather? Um, uh, near Forks. Near Forks? Mm-hmm. Like Twilight? Yeah. You ever watch Twilight? Yeah. You watch Twilight, Mark? <laughs> what? You ever seen Twilight? Yeah, I read it. No. Me neither. <laughs> I hey, you it. like motorcycles? Motorcycles? Motocross bikes? No, no. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Not quite. Not really. Yeah, how do you? Well, me and my brother used to race motorcycles and we won a couple trophies. It was kind of neat. Motorcycles? Yeah. Sounds like you're saying like, pop like popsicles. Uh, motocross bicycles. Motocross bikes. So it's like not quite a motorcycle, not quite a bicycle, huh? No, motocross. Yeah. I never did that. We had a YZ80, and then my brother had a 125. Oh. I'm scared. I think, I think it was a four-stroke. I don't know if it's four-stroke now or I don't even drive a car. Oh. <laughs> Do you, have you ever done that, Heather? No. How about Patrick? Motocross, no. That ain't for me. Well, Patrick, motorcycles? Patrick, have you ever ridden a motorcycle? Ridges. Dirt bikes. I don't even know any of that. Like, we, we, used, we used to make jumps and stuff and jump. Like we jumped the picking table with our motorcycle. <laughs> motorcycle. In Lacey? We put, a, put a ramp on it, you know, and 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 we had a picnic table in our backyard. We had like one percent left. And it kind of went around, and we jumped in it, jumped over it, you know. Yeah, and um, Lacey? Oh, this was uh, years ago when we were eight, like when I was eighteen and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was kind of cool, you know. Yeah, he Heather's about to lose power, so we should talk. I'm talking to her a little bit. Well, you got, you, you see any animals? Um, uh, I have lots of birds. Uh, we saw some seals last night playing in the water. Whoa. That was cute. What kind and of that's bird? about it. What kind of bird? Uh, robins. Uh. Oh, I think she's gone. Yep. yep. Probably lost, lost power. Mark, Heather's gone now. Mark, you there? Mark. What happened? Did we lose the whole thing? I don't know. Mark's still on the line on the thing. Oh, nope. Nope. There goes Mark now, too. I don't know what happened. Did we lose the whole internet? What's going on? We're still on this thing. Hmm. Well, um, I don't know what's going on, but it's still the sun is still out. We lost Mark, maybe. Should I try to call him back? Yeah. Heather's gone. Heather lost about power. Mark's gone. I don't know what happened to Mark. Oh man, my coffee leaking a little bit. My coffee's leaking out of the bottle. Got one of those big bottles of cold brew stuff, you know? Oh god. Stop leaking, bottle of coffee. Stop it! Stop doing that now. Uh oh. Uh oh. I thought this garage was on fire. Looks like there's smoke coming off because of the a lot of rain followed by some the sun coming out. So it's probably some weird uh, chemical reaction stuff going on. I don't know where the fuck that is. Uh, it's a good sign that I'm not too intelligent in that area because I can't accurately describe what's going on with the smoke coming off the roof a little bit. But I think I'm on the nose a little. I'm figuring it out. Root of what maybe is going to happen in the kind of uh, 
abstractly. I don't have a can't say it specifically. Cause I don't have the proper words. But first few sips of coffee of, of the day. Ugh. Fuck. Oh, well. Wow. Go on. And I needed this coffee because I'm addicted to it, and I have a hangover because I can't get my shit together. Uh -oh. uh, sorry. So I'm going to go see a happy man, adult man, meeting at dinner. He's going to have me over for dinner. Hey, lover. And hit me. It's great. I don't know what he's going to do. Teach me a lesson about life, maybe. That's what I need. I need learning. Uh, the woman at work keeps telling me lately that she thinks there's something going on with me. Hey, maybe she's right. She keeps saying... You okay? Seems like there's something going on with you. <laughs> if somebody says that to you enough times, then maybe they're picking up on something. I try to keep it together at work. Everyone there I'm pretty close friends with now. And I think some of them, I've confided in a few of them about what's going on. Uh, I think you kind of piece together what happened. Me talking to you. Do you have any questions? Maybe I'll, I don't want to say too much over TV. It's not really appropriate for TV. Actually, it is appropriate for TV. People who are more, uh, what do you call it? Uh, people who have more influence on TV put much more subject material on TV on a regular basis. I'm thinking of um, Ew, ew. Ew, that's what, why you call back. Oh, we're going to poop. We're going to have a cigarette, too. What? You call well, back, come on, Doug. You call back to the, the poop? Basically, no. I'll just put the poop. Come on, Porter. Come on. I know you don't like it out here, but we're going for a cigarette. <laughs> come on, Porter. Come on. Look at him. What? The dog doesn't want to go for a walk? No. Why? Why? Well, I thought he dog... He's done. Dog He's ready to go walk. back in. Come on, Porter. Look at him. Come on, boy. Come on. Just go to the gas for just a minute, dog. Just a minute. Come on. Dogs love walks. What's going on? He just doesn't like it, I guess. The other one does, but he don't. Yellow fellow's trying to quit alcohol. I know. How's he doing on his journey? I guess not good because he's hung over. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well. That's lovely. Mark's trying to quit cigarettes. Uh, Yellow fellow. See, it's like if you're trying to quit, then you have a problem, but you, uh, you're doing all that stuff. Mm -hmm. For what? fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, you're smoking. Are you, are you drinking currently? You're probably drinking right now, right? No. No? Oh. I don't drink that much anymore. I drink occasionally still, but like like maybe a beer at a time. That's all I really yeah. drink anymore. Does he? <laughs> He's drunk. Well, I can't smoke on the property. Why? The rules. Oh, he's got rules. He's, uh, he's your, he's your, most, you're, you're letting, he's most letting new you... apartments have the, that rule. Huh? Most new apartments have that rule. Oh, it's an apartment building? That's the apartment rules? Yeah. Not his rule? No, it's not his rule, yeah. Hmm. I was going to say, if he has a rule himself, and they'd be hanging out with you even. No, it's the apartment's rules. Yep, smoking is not so cool anymore. They don't. <laughs> yeah, nope. uh, we saw the end of it. I think it's like I think it's pretty much on the other side. It's not gonna be gone to completely though forever. It's not. Well, it's not gone. I guess. Oh, you're vaping. You have vapes. Are you vaping and smoking cigarettes? Me? No, I vape my weed. Oh, sometimes. but yeah, don't vape tobacco. Come on, right? come on, Jesus. That vape, those vape tobaccos. That stuff is crazy. I guess all the kids are doing it. Yeah, well, um, I mean, yeah, that's just stupid. Like, kids who never smoked a cigarette. Hurt. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Come here. Come here, boy. Come here. Don't do it Never smoked a cigarette, just, just the vapes, and they get really addicted to vapes. It's really weird stuff to me. I mean, every, I mean, they get really addicted to cigarettes, too. It's the same damn thing. It's just different. That's how I look. Weird message. Hey. The 
fucking call. Did you tell, tell Max to watch the show? He's doing stuff right now. I'll go watch the program. I'll tell him about it. Yeah. What's the dog looking at? Something. What's over the dog? Huh? Person walking. Oh. Uh. Pop up. What'd you, eat for What'd you eat for breakfast? Um. Uh. Uh. <laughs> oh, cereal. Yeah, what kind of at the house? A mixture of crackling oat bran and grape nuts mixed together with heavy whole milk and heavy cream because I'm a fat ass. Well, heavy cream in the cereal? Yeah. Oh Mostly God. milk with a little bit of cream. I actually started the program. I'm concerned. I think I might be getting fat. I'm not. I'm getting. I started gaining again, but. I'm. I, I have a gut. A little bit of a gut. I never had one before. I don't know where it came from. I'm getting old, maybe. Yeah. I've been How biking. Old are you? How old are you? Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Hmm. I've been biking. Yeah. But oh, maybe I should stop eating so much pizza. I'm currently talking about getting fat while eating pizza. <laughs> yeah, you probably should stop eating pizza. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, oh, maybe I'm getting kind of fat. <laughs> vegan. So if I keep hanging out here, I'll be eating more vegan food and staying thinner, hopefully. Yeah, your friend. Well, your friend is vegan. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know about the vegan. I don't. I don't like vegan food. I don't mind it, but I don't think it's like. I mean, some of it's okay, some of it's not. But like, I mean, I just. I don't know. I like. There's some. Food. I like food that's already already vegan, like like stuff that's supposed to be vegan, like Indian food, and like uh -huh. I don't know. But not like nut cheese. <laughs> yeah. What is? Ugh. It sounds gross, but it's actually there's some really good ones though. So I've had the most like it tasted exactly like nacho cheese from Seven Eleven. Yeah. But it was vegan. That makes that stuff makes me like gives me the shivers. Like, ugh, like ugh, what is that stuff? Like, yeah. Uh, vegan cheese. Or, me or, or, that stuff or freaks me out. Cheese. Vegan uh, or nacho? Vegan cheese. Oh, it's nuts. It's nuts and, and, and nutritional yeast. Ugh, ugh. I don't know what's in there. I don't trust it. It's weird. Well, you could trust it because it's less chemicals. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather eat the can of cheese. <laughs> yeah, but that's because you're an American. Oh, yeah? So I'm going to eat the nut cheese? Don't dare well, forget. No, I'm just saying you put a can of cheese. Yo, what's going on on chat? I don't know what that mean, what what do you mean? WTF is going on. Who said that? That's what somebody on the YouTube is saying that. Like something weird is going on? I don't know what you're talking about. Who are they? Don't ever forget one, two, three. Don't ever forget, huh? Yeah. I already forgot. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that? Oh L M M L what L M A O he says about that, or they said about Tell mayo. saying that to you. Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Um, La mayonnaise. Well, let's La see. Mayo. I recorded the, the message to the future. Do. We should take a look at 2017. You want to see what we're doing in 2017? Okay. Sure. This. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Here's the next day. Hey guys, hey future. Hey, it's us, the oh, past. It's Jeremy, what's up, like everyone? It How's it going? It how, are, how are things? Like what's the future like? Hopefully, I'm rich now. Kind of. How's your health? Have you ever had that? Uh, you, how's your carbs? You eating a lot of carbs? Maybe you should cut down on those. Right. <laughs> Is popcorn good advice, carbs? Huh? Yes. Oh dang it! You hear that? <laughs> Bye. Uh -huh. I, I told myself to cut down on the carbs. Yeah. That was weird. <laughs> I eat a lot of carbs. Me too. I love pasta and bread. I have a lot of bread. A lot of toast. Yeah. I just eat like, <laughs> I mean, carbs all day, but I think it's fine. I, I'm not getting fat. I'm not too actually concerned about it. Um, uh, but I, I eat, uh, yeah, I mean, pizza. I eat a lot of rice. I eat a lot of potato chips. A lot of bread. Lots of carbs. It's what food is. What else even is there? <laughs> That's like, you know, you eat the food pyramid, which is not real. But at the bottom of the food pyramid, like the biggest part is bread. The food pyramid is not t top to bottom anymore. That's the old food pyramid. 
Oh yeah, what's the new foam pair, man? I don't know. It's it's it goes up and down though, and it's I mean left and right. It's, no, it's more of a food cube or, or rectangle. It's still a pyramid shape. Do you know what R E T S? No, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, well I'm back, so I'm I'm getting off again. Okay, bye. James, you're still there, I can hear you. James, oh, there you go. I'm trying. Bye bye. 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 Yeah. Uh, what was I saying? I said, oh yeah, people who are in charge of TV, they put a lot worse on TV as far as subject matter. Uh, like, a lot of shows about murder. And a lot of shows about, you know, gross sex stuff. You know what I mean? Uh, I think that's. Um, oh yeah. I think that's a big thing, David Lynch. I do. I know what you're talking about now. I I outlasted that guy, right? Yeah. Uh, the arty guy. I outlasted him. trying to get into the Twin Peaks saying that we're it was kind of meta, you know, showing the you know, reaction of the, the kind of the film on T V being broadcasted out to the masses and that and the influence of that in the world. Goodness to that. Goodness. Adam uh, said no, and they tried to take a show, change the show, season two, and that's when he got really upset about that. He got upset about that, and then that further influenced his um, creative direction with the show, and then season three kind of a show about was destroyed in the 90s, which is pretty interesting. Uh, I think he does a lot with that show. I've talked about this on your TV show recently, but that's another thing he was doing, which is really interesting. People will be like, <laughs> it's so funny to remember people being like, oh my God, it doesn't make any sense nothing going on here. He's just being random. Uh, season three. Now, the dumb. Um. Can you just, just defend Twin Peaks? <laughs> I'm laughing. Because I don't feel good. <laughs> I feel horrible. Oh, I'm over. Uh, you put me on TV yesterday. Look at all my messages. I guess I should realize that... <laughs> I like forget what's happening when I do this. So let's go, it's gonna go on TV. Oh yeah. Um, hey y'all, uh, oh uh, yeah. I heard my mind recently. Uh, actually like 10 minutes ago. I walked up to my car and I thought, Hey, this is the car I deserve. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, uh, rough dump it is. Feels right. It's like, what kind of car does a guy like me get? This car. But then I was thinking, um, it's not a healthy way to look at myself. Way to think about myself. Train tracks in the car. You ever hear people? I was talking to a friend, and they said uh, conductors, engine drive, whoever is like in charge of 
what do they call it, engineer, train engineer, the guy driving the train. That's the engineer. <laughs> they tell them when they're getting the job that it's a matter of, uh, it's not a matter of, um, as far as people walking in front of the train committing suicide, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Like pretty much guaranteed. Well, the town I'm living in, my friend told me this. She said sometimes people just come to Topton. Oh, <laughs> for the name of my town, take care. Uh, just to walk into the path of a train. That's sad. Uh, I don't think I would ever do that. It's an interesting thought. Whoever. Thanks. I would never commit suicide. <laughs> Good. There must be people who have said that themselves, who have then been driven to the point of suicide. Well, I hope not. Uh, later in life. Mark is calling. Um, Answer. But I don't have the. Hello, uh, Mark. Suicidal. Hey. So hey, I how's, how's it going? Not so good. Why? What happened? <coughs> she turned the she turned the server thermostat up when I was sleeping. Oh, yeah, is it really hot in your home? It's so hot in my room, I feel like I'm melting. Oh, it's too hot. For, it's this. It's it's time for no heat. It's the no heat season. I know. She turned the thermostat up. Oh no! What are you gonna do? Did you turn it off? I turned it off, opened the window a little bit, you know, let's be air in here. Yeah, it's pretty cool outside. It should cool down pretty fast. Yeah, what time is it? Uh, 9.37. Oh, wow. I must have dozed off and slept for a while. Yeah, well, you were on the phone, then, and then you, 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 the phone, what happened on the phone? Did the phone mess up or what? I, I dropped the phone, and then, and then it hung up on me. Hmm. What are you what are you doing? I was listening to some of these yellow fellow messages. Oh yeah, that's kinda cool. Yeah. Yellow fellow's struggling with addiction also. What kind of addiction? Yellow fellow drink has a drinking problem. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't need those cigarettes. That my chest hurts if I smoke a cigarette. Yeah, I believe it. That's yeah. Uh, it's no good. You don't need that crap. It is bad for you. Yeah, it's harsh on your body. Yeah, you don't need cigarettes. That's a bunch of crap. Yeah. Have you not been smoking, or did you? you did you? I have been smoking. I don't. I don't like cigarettes anymore. Good. No more of that. No more packs. That's good. That's yeah, cr- garbage. You know. Yeah. So you, you fall asleep and then you woke up and you was really hot. Yeah. Uh, she turned the thermostat up. Mm-hmm. Is yeah. that confusing? You're like, why is it hot? What's going on? It's the. I don't know. She's getting heat flashes once in a while. You know how women are. Wow, that's how women are. They get heat, hot flashes. Well, well, we're we're in our fifties. We're. I'm fifty-seven and she's fifty-three. So oh yeah, I don't I don't know how women that? are, Mark. What, that's not. What, what, what's that women thing that they get when they get heat flashes when they get menopause. old? Menopause. Uh, menopause. Yeah, there you go. That's the word I was looking for. Yeah, that's that's natural. <laughs> you know. Yeah, what but women are. <laughs> she shouldn't have turned. She shouldn't have turned that damn heat up. Yeah, too hot. I agree with that. I don't like the heat. I like. I never use the heat. I don't know if it's not good for my house, but like I would like. <laughs> if I had the choice, I would just like wear a jacket indoors. Yeah, that's true. You don't, don't need it, y'all. Burn it up and stuff, you know. I don't like the heat, the heater, really. Yeah. Plus, it wastes a lot of money, too. Yeah. When it's frozen outside, I just get a jacket. But maybe it's never been that frozen. Like, like, you know, like in Texas, everybody was freezing to death or something. Yeah. Um, I, I got me some ice water. That kind of cooled me down. That's good. Or you just step outside for a minute. Yeah, step on the patio or something. It's it's pretty cool outside. It's a nice, a good. 
or the stairs. Yeah, it's nice and cool outside. One kid across the complex, he was sitting on the bottom of the stairs, and he was drinking a beer, and he got a $500 fine because he's not supposed to be sitting on the stairs with a beer. $500? Huh? $500? Yeah, you're supposed to be 25 feet from the... He was smoking a cigarette, too. Oh, yeah? He was 20, supposed to be 25 feet from the entranceway or whatever. Well, you know, you can smoke in your apartment, but he was, like, sitting on the staircase, you know, and you got to be 25 feet from there because people pass by and stuff. They don't want to get uh, smell of tobacco and stuff. $500? Yeah. Was that his third strike or something? Sounds like you should get a warning or two first. Well, he probably did get a warning, but, you know. Well, seems like a lot of money. Now, he didn't get, he didn't get kicked out or nothing. He just, uh. Well, he might as well have been. I mean, who has $500? That's like, you're living in your apartment place. It's not like it's like some kind of rich place either, so. Uh, like, well, it's just at the end of the stairs, you know. Yeah, but, like, I know you're, I've been to your apartment. It's not like some kind of rich place, so. People are going to have five hundred dollars to spare, you know. Well, I guess that you, you you live a little, you die a little. Yeah, I mean, what would you do if somebody said you had to pay five hundred dollars? You don't have five hundred dollars, right? I mean, it's like. Yeah, well, he he probably had he probably had some kind of a account somewhere for some savings, and he did it. He paid it. Where'd you hear about that? Oh, the neighbors talking and stuff, you know. There's gossip, huh? Yeah, there's, I heard overheard the neighbors talking next door and stuff. They're talking about it. You think that is an exaggeration? No, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it was an exaggeration. Well, probably. Okay, well, let's let's hope it was an exaggeration because that seems ridiculous to me. That's horrible. Yeah, that's too much money. God, that'd be my life savings. <laughs> That's too much money. Yeah. What'd you do today? Well, if you, you should watch the beginning of the program I talked about, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I do it every time, but I, I went to work and I, uh, you know, rode my bike and I got the pizza off. Yeah, yesterday, yesterday we got bored, so we cleaned the apartment. Oh, that's good. We had clutter and stuff on the table and stuff. No biggie. We just picked it up and stuff. Got bored. And I've been doing a it. yeah. I've been doing couch time. You know, in the beginning of the episode, have you seen that yet? I bet you have. Yeah. It's where I go over the couch and tell everybody what I did all day. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Well. Because I'm in the booth now. You know. Hey, you getting tired of pizza yet? No. Um. I didn't eat it for I, a year. I got kind of tired. We got kind of tired of pizza for a while, so we started making hamburgers instead, you know? Yeah. What was last time you made pizza? We'll probably go back to the pizza again, but right now we're kind of just having hamburgers and stuff instead of pizza. Well, I didn't eat pizza for a whole year because I was hiding out because of the virus. And now I got the vaccine, so I'm back out and eating the pizza, and it's exciting to eat the pizza. Yeah, that virus sure is a stinker, isn't it? Yeah, it sure is. When are you going to get the vaccine? You have a, a appointment? I don't know. They didn't call us yet. You got to call them. Uh, we, we did, but they said they were going to give us a call when they are ready. Well, just, they have it at Safeway, Mark. Call Safeway. When you, you're going to go to Safeway to go shopping, call them and they'll give you the vaccine. Maybe they lied to us. Maybe. They... Mark, can I help you get the vaccine if I get, uh, get you an appointment where you go to it? <laughs> no? Mark, you there? Oh, what? I guess not. Wow, Mark. What? 
Mark doesn't want the vaccine. He doesn't want to talk about it. I don't know what's up with it. I thought that he had changed over to the vaccine, but he doesn't want me to hear. He doesn't want to hear about it from me or something. I don't know. Well, Mark, I think you should get the vaccine. The sun went down. We only have like uh, two minutes left, so we made it all the way through. What a good day. Thanks, Monday. Thanks, uh, Heather. Thanks, James. Thanks, Yellowfellow. Thanks, uh, Mark. Hey, at the moment, at least I don't think so. It's not a good thing to do. I mean, maybe sometimes good. Uh, <laughs> what is it good to be suicidal? It's not good. Question. Uh, don't no don't do that. that it's not really pleasant. Is it pleasant? You tell y'all follow. Don't don't suicide. The Google subscriber you have called is not available. Please leave a message after the tone. Y'all follow it's in the show. Don't do suicide, okay? Your message is kind of freaky. <laughs> From the other day. Uh, <laughs> thanks for watching. It's Monday. <laughs> We're on TCG TV show 2021 there and 2 Check it out. Yeah. Well, you should be on YouTube, 360 going to message you on TV, yeah! Well, you should be on dot com! TV Audio Library, yeah! 360 TV, the baby Jordan Bounce, Circuit Book, 4 Radio, Mark Rebecca, Thurston County, USA, thank you, and viewers, to see you watching, thank you. Hey, John, where are you? Call me. Oh, bye.